Hello everyone, I'm Reno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you some basic mailbox database properties in Exchange 2010. As you see over here, I'm in my Exchange Management Console. If you click on Organization Configuration and then click on Mailbox. Underneath Database Management, it will show you all your databases. If I just right click my first database and go to the Properties and under the general tab you'll see all the general information about that database at the bottom over here it's going to show you the uh, server names of uh, the servers that are hosting a copy of this database okay for me I've just got one server so it's, it doesn't have any other copy underneath maintenance tab you can schedule your maintenance depending upon what time of the day you've, it's good for you you can schedule it if this time slots are not good for you you can obviously click on use custom schedule and then select the time of the day that you would like the maintenance to occur what maintenance basically does is it compresses your database and it will also look for some errors okay and then that you got some basic options saying like don't take uh, don't mount this database at startup quite understandable most of them on top uh, general uh, general recipient if you select click on general recipient sorry I'll just get rid of this okay underneath general recipient you can browse and select one of your users it's mostly going to be your administrator okay and what it will do is once the maintenance occur it will send them a report underneath limit you got different options over here this will basically issue warnings once the mailbox that is in this database which is 1945 MB it's going to uh, send a warning it's then going to prohibit send once the ma uh, mailbox which is 2048 MB and then it's going to prohibit send and receive once it reaches 2355 MB Obviously, you can change these numbers as per your requirements. Over here, you can select whatever time you want that warning message to go out. At the bottom over here, you got two options. Keep deleted items for days it is a really good option. The way it works actually is once a user receives an email and says, for example, that user deletes that email, it's going to be in the deleted items folder so that the user can retrieve that. It's going to be there for 14 days okay you can increase this or decrease this as per your requirement the second option over here says keep deleted mailboxes this is when us uh, as administrator say suppose i deleted a, a mailbox it's then going to be in the disconnected mailboxes uh for 30 days i can increase and decrease this number again so i got 30 days to recover that database and connect it to some other user or same user or whatever okay underneath that you got a very important option over here you can tick mark this don't permanently delete items until the database has been backed up which is a really really good option I always make sure that I've selected this what it will do is after 30 days your mailbox will get deleted right but it won't delete it until it's been backed up so even if it if you finish 30 days you still got the mailbox database backed up so which is always good underneath client settings you got two options public folder database and offline address uh, address book I haven't created any public folders yet so I don't have any so you can obviously browse and select the public folder offline address book I should have yeah I got a off, uh, default offline address book so I'll just select that okay and that's it that's all the properties for your for your mailbox database. I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.